To be loved or not to be loved? Romance in roleplay, does it really matter? In this video, I'm going to talk about romance, roleplay, and why I don't do it. What do you think? Do you think romantic roleplays are okay? Do you think people should be okay with romantic roleplays? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear. I want to hear your thoughts on this. And we're starting right now. We're talking about the simple fact of what Valentine's Day usually involves. It's love and relationships and lots and lots of sex. Or some people don't have sex on Valentine's Day. Some people don't get nothing. And then there's other people that just think, yeah, well, we're not going to get that subject either because we don't want to be pissing anyone off. Anyway, today is a day about love and happiness and relationships and, you know, sharing yourself with others. Um, that really did not sound right. Um, anyway, so it got, it, it, it got me thinking about love, romance, relationships, and like in role. Obviously, you know that my channel is about roleplay. Lots of people have done romantic roleplays. I've seen it all over the place. I have a few stories I'm going to share in a little bit about my own experiences with it. We're going to consider, we're going to look at this from this perspective, okay? On the surface, it might seem like that's fine. You know, all right, people want to, you know, be romantic in a role play. They have a story in mind. They want to create the story and whatnot with each other. And, you know, that seems fine. But especially when you implement, you know, online romance and stories like that, it can become very, very nasty. And even in person role plays, I have issues start between two people that are, that are in love outside a character that literally use little snipes and jabs to go at each other while they're in character because of things that have happened outside of the game that have happened in their own lives that they're taking the game and using it to fight with each other, which is really annoying because it takes away from the entire story. And I've had to tell them, stop, look, if you guys can't put your own baggage at the door and get into your character's baggage, I don't want you at my game. So I have a few other stories that I wanted to tell, talk about, about my own personal experience as being a role player, not necessarily a DM or a GM, being a role player and ended up in a romantic relationship with another character that was one sided. So I played Second Life. Yes, Second Life. I played it years ago and it was because of my buddy. He got me into the game through a Western set. I ended up joining up with Outlaws because his character was an outlaw and he's like we have brothers and i'm like cool all right whatever we'll do that it's cool so i made a character named garth mccleary and he was he was psychotic we'll put it that way but the weird thing this is where it gets weird because he was psychotic um there was an orphanage matron which is basically like the lady that runs an orphanage in town and uh i don't remember exactly how it all came about but garth for some reason while i was playing him was he ended up getting involved with the matron basically tried to hang her or it wasn't so much tried to he actually successfully hung her but cut her free after i think she shot him i don't remember it's it's been some time all i know is that somehow those two ended up getting involved with each other little did i know this actually turned out to be a little more than friends on her end which i mean i'm not holding her to blame i'm not blaming her i'm not i don't blame people if they look to games like second life or any sort of game that's an online game where they are looking for a relationship with another person at this time in this particular story it really it took a turn for the worst because um when I did finally realize what was really going on on the other side and that she was actually becoming very romantically involved in the idea of me, not my character, but me, I was like, oh, I didn't mean this. I didn't want this. This is not, mm -mm, no thank you. It was way too weird, especially for me, especially with an internet type relationship. So I kind of let her down and it didn't go very well. She uh, she didn't take it very well. And I, to this day, I still feel really hor horrible about it. Um, but that eventually turned her character into trying to become an outlaw and she shot my girl. And I think that's when he did hang her to teach her a lesson. Because again, in character, we had talked about it. I thought she was okay with it. Come to find out a couple weeks later, it was very distressing for her and she left the server. I have not heard or seen her since. That's kind of the problem with romantic role plays is they can lead to that sort of situation is where you think everything's great on the surface and nothing's going on underneath, but sometimes relationships build underneath. And yeah, they can be beautiful things. Yeah, they, you could make real great friends or they can turn out like it did Garth. I guess for me, my advice to you, if you really want to take it, is if you wanted to do a romantic roleplay, a romantic story for a roleplay, and honestly, I think this encompasses any kind of roleplay, be sure that you're talking out of character with your fellow roleplayer. If you're still looking for love, which some people still are, I for one, 
really do and do enjoy you know doing what i do and doing my role play so i do love everybody that loves role play and i try to express that as much as possible i don't know why the hell i just said that but i did um but if you are looking for love perhaps you'd like to go on a date with Jodardo here or there's this other video that i've picked out that was handpicked by me for your enjoyment